Hello guys, good morning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. If you are new to this channel, welcome, 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 and hello. My name is Ala and I wanna say that I was a nursing student, but I'm not anymore. I just graduated December um, 17th, so last week Friday, and I am super stoked. That's the reason for this video. Um, excuse my hair and all that good stuff. So I don't think you can see this, but this is my cap that I made, BSN, earn, there's RN there, uh, not given, and you know, all the good stuff. So um, I just wanna do this video really quick um, as a recap. So I finished my fourth semester, my final semester of nursing school. And uh, I know I was super busy. So I couldn't make videos and post them because nursing school is nursing school. So as a quick, blah, blah, blah. As a quick recap, um, I had three classes. One of them was a leadership in nursing. The second one was a professional communication. And then the third one was clinical. And I'm going to start off with uh, leadership. That class was a lot of writing, um, a lot of papers that had to do with um, research and whatnot. So not a big fan of writing, but I got it done. And then professional communication. Um, that was about like group projects that we had to do. We had to present it um, at the ending of the semester to our cohort. Um, but yeah, got that done, nailed it, and I'm done with that. Now let's move on to clinical because that's the most fun part of my conversation. <clears throat> so, um, for clinical itself, I had, uh, our hours got, you know, decreased from the normal amount that were supposed to be because of COVID, which is fine. Any clinical is better than no clinical. So... Um, I was placed, actually my clinical was about hour and a half, two hours away from me for a drive. Um, that's one way and then hour and a half to, to two hours to come back home. <clears throat> so uh, how that worked is I was paired up with a preceptor and I just absolutely love my preceptor. She was super awesome, um, very hands-on she made me think a lot she gave me a lot of tasks to do um in the beginning of the first day i was very worried and self-confident confident and uh i thought that i wasn't gonna do well but that first day on um as soon as we got on the floor we got report and the first thing out of her mouth was okay so you're gonna do your handoff for the morning shift. Again, I was working nights. Um, and I said, no ma'am, this is my first day. And she's like, yes ma'am, you're gonna do it. So long story short, I ended up doing my handoff report and nailed it. <clears throat> but I had um, between one to two patients total, we had three together. So one to two and uh, she was more of observing what I was doing. A lot of the times she wasn't with me. Um, so it kind of gave me that little push to do things on my own because that's exactly what I'm going to have to do when I get on the floor, on the field, by myself. And if I had any questions, I can go to her and say, hey, can you help me or can you watch me while I set up this, um, this IV pump? Um, oh, can you watch me because I have to get this shot. I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. Um, I was able to do uh, lab draws from a pick line. That was super cool. I got to insert my own IV line. Uh, that was nervous and nerve wracking, but I did it the first time and I was super stoked. I did like a happy dance after. Um, my patient was just laughing at me and she she got the point that I was super excited. Uh, so yeah, lots of hands-on. Um, I've learned a ton. Um, I've, everything that you learn in school, how they tell you you have to prioritize what you're gonna do, that's absolutely true. 
um, because even if you're working a 12 hour shift, when you have patients that are in critical need, um, it takes up a lot of time. So you have to really know, okay, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do this. I write a little checklists on my report sheet. Um, and when I get the task done, so if it's like CBGs, Q4 hours, I would do that. Um, assessment, Q4 hours, I would have a check there. Check, so two, four, four boxes of checks. <clears throat> um, or three boxes of checks, whatever it, it exactly I need to do. So I know, okay, once I do it, check. And I can look at it and say, oh, I got two more to do. And I'll put the times on there. Um, it's my way of keeping myself organized. Uh, I'm not 100% confident or not really confident, but comfortable with Epic right now. Um, because it's like, you use it during during your clinicals and then you don't use it for how many months? And then you go back and you use it for a couple of months and then you don't use it at all. So that repetition, I don't get often, um, but I just keep like little to-do checklists so that way I know that I'm not gonna miss anything. Um, important things. So yeah, that's, that's a really big, recap on my final semester now i am moving on to studying for my nclex um i just received my att and i will post another video about that of how i study I'm trying to get a rhythm here um but my at actually my nclex date is a lot sooner than i wanted but that's what was available and now i have to crush all of my studying and whatnot so today's gonna be my first day of studying and we'll see how it goes so i want to get this video out of the way thank you thank you thank you so much for all of you uh, for supporting me and my journey being a nursing student now i can finally say that i'm no longer a nursing student um but yeah it's so nice to even think about that. I don't have to go to class anymore. Um, and I'm that much closer to having BSN RN at the ending of my name, all that hard work, um, all that sweat and tears, all that um, being sleep deprived. I think I'm gonna get it all back. Um, but yes, I just want to thank everyone for joining me and um, going on this journey with me and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to uh, reach out um go ahead and like this video if it, it was helpful for you um comment i love to have comments and i, I do comment back if you're not already go ahead and subscribe to my channel um, click that notification bell um, I just want to do a quick thing before I head off. Um, after my NCLEX, uh, I plan to do a giveaway of my nursing books. <clears throat> so I'll have um, several things that I'm going to be sending off. I'm not going to be like, okay, one winner gets all the books. No, because that's not going to be fair. So I keep keeping tabs with my videos when I post them. I will go ahead and let you know um, what I'm going to be, I guess, I don't want to say raffling off, but what I'm going to be giving away um, and hopes that that would, for one, save you money because nursing school is no joke and it's super expensive. Um, and... I also want to help other people um, reach their goal of becoming a nurse as well, whether it's an LPN, whether it's um, you have your associates in nursing, your bachelor's in nursing, whatever journey it is of you trying to become a nurse, I want to be helpful for that, uh, which is why I'm going to be giving away um, my nursing books. Um, so yeah, you got to keep tuned because there are going to be rules that you have to do. Um, and I will be checking them to make sure everything that I said is completed in order for you to be a winner. So thanks again, everybody. Um, have a great day. If you're currently in nursing school, good luck to you. Um, stay focused, keep strong. I'm here to support you and you're gonna be a awesome nurse when you're done. If you're thinking about going into nursing, do it. It is something that, um, 
we here in the United States, in anywhere, any country, needs more nurses um, with the shortage, with the pandemic, with all these health issues, the baby boomers, you know, they're gonna need a lot of help. And there's no more of a, I, I guess it's a satisf satisfaction. Man, I can't even talk this morning. It's, it's nice to know that um, you're helping people. You know, you're helping people with their daily livings. You're helping them get healthier. You're being there for, um, as an emotional support when their family can't be there. So I, those are encouraging words for you. I hope that you can take them in any way that you want. But yes, look out for my next video. It's probably going to be like study with me for NCLEX or something like that. So anyways, thank you so much um, and have a great day, guys. Bye.